Why are there no hyenas in North America? The simple answer is, there used to be. Hyenas belong to the smallest family of carnivores, the hyenidae. This family includes four species alive today. In Africa, there are the spotted hyena, the brown hyena, and the ard wolf. In both Africa and West Asia, there is also the striped hyena. Although they have distinct dog-like features, particularly their snouts, they are more closely related to cats. They are largely brown and beige in color. Depending on the species, some have distinctive markings such as spots or stripes and shaggy fur. They are renowned scavengers, often eating carcasses that have been killed by lions or lone leopards, but they are also excellent and skilled hunters. A clan of hyenas can work together to take down wildebeest and antelope. They also eat birds, lizards, snakes, and insects. They are highly adaptable and opportunistic animals living in matriarchal clans. They are also the most common large carnivore in Africa today. There are currently no hyenas living in the Americas, but once upon a time, they did roam there. What we want to know is, how did they get there? What happened to them? And why did they disappear? In order to answer these questions, we need to look back at the hyena's evolutionary history to determine why there are no hyenas in America. If you were to travel back 22 million years ago, you would see the very distant relatives of the hyenas. These were tree-dwelling, cat-like animals that lived in Eurasia. More recently though, as these animals began to resemble today's hyenas, they were common on the African continent. Fossil records show that this small family of carnivores once comprised more than 80 species that came to be found throughout Eurasia, Africa, and North America. This compares to only four species left today. Although hyenas were once widespread across the globe, only one genus is known to have lived in the Americas. It was called the Chasma porthetes, or American hyena. It is also known as the running or hunting hyena. These hyenas lived during the Pliocene-Pleistocene epochs, from about 4.9 million to 780,000 years ago. But this genus of hyena was not unique to North America, and its fossils have been found in Africa, Asia, Europe, and Central America. It is believed that this hyena evolved from elsewhere and dispersed into North America. Scientists wanted to know how the hyena spread into Canada and North America, ultimately spreading further south to Mexico. During the Ice Ages, sea levels dropped because much of the seawater was frozen as ice. This increased land mass and exposed terrain such as the Bering Land Bridge. This land bridge was crucial to the migration of a huge number of species from Europe and Asia into North America and beyond. Scientists speculated that this is how the hyena crossed into the Americas, but they didn't have concrete evidence. American fossils belonging to hyenas have been found as far south as Mexico and Florida. These have been identified as the American hyenas. Recently, however, two individual fossil teeth were found in Beringia, within the Arctic Circle. They were initially thought to have belonged to some prehistoric cat, but on closer inspection, it was determined that these fossil teeth belonged to the American hyena. Although these two teeth were the only evidence of hyenas living in Yukon territory, they provide credible evidence that these animals lived in Arctic conditions. Today, we think of hyenas as living in hot, desert-like climates. In some ways, the Arctic tundra provides an equally inhospitable environment for hyenas. It can be hypothesized that the American hyenas would have longer fur to keep them warm, and lighter colored coats to blend in with the icy surroundings. Today, hyenas live among elephants and lions, whereas one and a half million years ago, they lived among woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats. With the finding of the two Yukon hyena teeth, mapping the hyena's range and route of travel is easier. Crossing over the Bering Land Bridge from Siberia into Canada and North America is the only route they could have taken. This occurred between 5 and 3 million years ago, during the early Pliocene. From dating the fossils found throughout America, it is thought that the hyenas frequently crossed the Bering Land Bridge. Spreading as far south as Florida and Mexico, where fossils have been found, would have taken a number of generations. It is unknown from the fossilized teeth whether the animals were just passing through, or whether they actually made the Arctic their home. Fossil records also suggest that there were different species of hyena living in North America throughout its history. It is unclear whether these different species were from multiple crossings from Eurasia over time, or whether hyenas evolved from those who made the initial journey. We now know how the hyenas entered the Americas, but why did they travel there? There has been speculation as to why so many species left Africa and traveled into Europe, Asia, and beyond. There is a divergence between the African and Eurasian hyenas two and a half million years ago. This suggests that the hyenas dispersed out from Africa at around the same time that early man did. Other animals also dispersed from Africa into Europe and Asia at a similar time. These included some primates, panthers, and hippopotamus. Perhaps climate and habitat played a role. 2.6 to 1.8 million years ago in Africa, forested terrain gave way to savanna. This is thought to be one of the reasons why early humans dispersed out of Africa. It could also be a reason why other species, like hyena, moved. From Eurasia, 
the hyena continued to spread into the Americas. Maybe they were following the migration of the herbivores and other prey species. What was the American hyena like? This hyena has been nicknamed the hunting hyena, which is a poor description. Although modern day hyenas are renowned for scavenging, they are also skilled hunters. So technically, every hyena is a hunting hyena. In some populations, carrion makes up less than 5% of their diet. Even so, the North American hyena was well adapted to running and hunting. It had specially long limbs and a more graceful build than perhaps modern day hyenas. Their gait and slender form may have been likened to today's cheetahs. They lack the hunched posture that modern day hyenas are famed for. From the fossilized teeth of this hyena, it can be speculated that they were definitely more of a hunter than a scavenger. Their teeth were more for slicing flesh rather than crunching bone. It is thought that they would have hunted carabao or scavenged mammoth carcasses on the tundra that stretched from Siberia to Yukon. So, we know that there were at least one species of hyena living in North America during the Pliocene and into the Pleistocene. But what happened to them? The American hyenas went extinct between 1 million and 500,000 years ago. Scientists say that the extinction of these hyenas appears to be a mystery. They disappeared from the Americas long before humans arrived there. The earliest known human evidence in the Americas was a human footprint that was found in Chile, thought to be 15,600 years old. Climate may have played a role, but the hyena is known to be such an adaptable and versatile animal. We now know that it survived in the Arctic Circle, which had very harsh climactic conditions as it does today. The Pleistocene was characterized by alternating ice ages and interglacial periods. During the ice ages, glaciers spread far and wide. Some of these glaciers were several thousand feet thick. Conditions during the Pleistocene were tough and only the strong survived. From fossil records, some prehistoric species have been found in abundance, but fossils of hyenas in the Americas are scarce. It is believed that they were few and far between. Perhaps they never thrived as much as their modern relatives do in Africa. The American hyena roamed the Americas at the same time as saber-toothed cats and mastodons. It is thought that the saber-toothed cats, the bone-cracking dog, the giant short-faced bear would have hunted the same prey and occupied similar niches. Could competition from these other species have led to the American hyena's demise? Although we can speculate as to why no hyenas are remaining in America, it largely remains a mystery. They are an incredibly important animal in today's world and have, rather unfairly, been negatively associated with scavenging. The elegance of a hunting leopard, the teamwork of a lion, and the speed of a cheetah are better portrayed than the hunting skills of hyenas. It is important to understand the incredible behavior and complex nature of today's hyenas, so that they are around for many generations to come. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.